I ain't got to worry about how I'm getting my hair for my vacation because it's already done. Huh? This, I mean, people been holding out on the benefits. I, I'm going to tell you, wake up and go. Like, literally, shake and go. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I have done my first retie and I am so happy. I got through it, it was very exciting. I couldn't wait to come on and tell y'all how it went. So let me give you a tour first. Before we get into this, this is fresh off the retie. I haven't even put water on it yet. I'm gonna do that on camera so y'all can see because I didn't do it when I created my locks but I feel like adding water just adds it just does a little mm, to it so I want to do that on camera so you can see because you know they're kind of flat they're kind of just here at the water just really takes it up a notch You see that scalp and you see them grades, but <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> So yeah, that's all done. And actually, while we're here, I'm just gonna, ooh. Oh, so the other thing that I love about the water, it's just so nice on the scalp. So it just, it's like a massage, you know, or like a spa experience. It's cool and I, I don't have nothing in here but water, okay? I didn't put anything in there because I've been, Trying to limit the products so that I don't get build up, which I feel like I was pretty successful this first. <laughs> I feel like I was pretty successful this first retie because you know my hair wasn't flaking. It wasn't. It didn't really feel dirty. I just knew it had been six weeks. It was time. It was time to wash it. Um, I know some people wash their hair a little bit more frequent than that. And I might, I don't know, we'll see. But for now, I think that is what has helped keep the slippage from happening and just a lot of the frizz. Um, so yeah, I think I'm making good progress. Ooh, this feels so good. I wish I could feel this. I mean, I could just keep spraying, you know? But I'll just show you once I finish the difference. So you saw the before and how it looked and it was cute. But baby, I'm gonna put this water on it and give it a little shuffle. Like, okay, we'll get into it because this is just, I could do this all day, so I'll spare you. Look at that. Look at that. Ain't got the nerve to have a little hang time. <laughs> you see me? Look, 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 look. <laughs> I'm feeling that on my neck. Can you see it? <laughs> uh. So if you're new to my channel, my name 
name is Ashley. I have started my vlog journey about seven weeks ago now. I've thought about it for a long time. I said I was gonna do it when I turn 30, but then I wasn't married yet. I wanted to have curls for my wedding. It's a whole thing, we'll get into it another time. But anyway, here we are, year 39. I revamped and said, oh, I do it when I turn 40. And then I was like, uh, do I really wanna go through the rough stage, I'm not gonna call it ugly stage because you barely still fly. But did I wanna go through the rough stage when I turned 40? I was like, no, nah, let's do it at 39. So here we are, I turned 40 in September. So I got a good nine months for growth and all that jazz. And um, I did it myself. You know, I went back and forth. I looked at a lot of lacticians all over the country because I was like, I will fly out if that's what it takes. Um, okay, I don't know what's going on with this one. Sometimes she tries to act up. But anyway, I looked all over the country because I'm like, if I need to go to the best of the best, that's what I'm going to. And then I decided the best of the best is me. Because who better to know my hair, know what it can take, know what it can do, and just really embrace the process. So that's what I did. And guess what? I actually counted my locks this go round. I counted them as I retied them. So Germo, please. I have 309 locks. Isn't that a good number? I thought so. I think so. 309 lovely locks. Curly locks. So here we are. First retie. I think it went really well. It took about three days for me doing it after work. So about, I'm going to say like five hours per day. So like 15 hours. I know it sounds like a lot, it really wasn't. I just did it while I was watching TV. Like, I don't have to be in the mirror, I can kind of feel it. And yeah, I am very satisfied with the results. I think my scalp looks clean, it's nice and healthy. I didn't have to do much maintenance other than the retie, honestly. I didn't have any slippage, at least that I could see. Of course, I loved on the ends, just the Keep those curls popping but that's about it really here's what i will say my edges were very touch and go before this journey i had done a lot of things that i should not have to my edges and she said okay keep keep on <laughs> keep on so my hope is that since i am on this vlog journey my edges will have time to breathe because they're not being laid and slayed and out of this judge and they can grow out. In saying that, I have two locks that are on the struggle bus and I might need to get some professional guidance on what to do with them. This is the first one. Now, if you look, you can see she is made out of not much of nothing. But I feel like with the hair that is linked to this one, it's just too much to combine it with this. You see, I feel like that would just make too big of a lot. And if you smack dab in the front, that's not cute. But I don't know if this is slippage or new growth. Oh, well, you see that hole right there. This one needs some TLC. Like, this is where it ended when I first created my locks. So as you can see with this retie, there was a whole lot more hair there, which, nah, come on. I know my hair didn't grow this long over six months. That's, I mean, six weeks. That would be world star, uh, <laughs> monumental. So it must have been slippage maybe. I'm, just, I'm not real sure. Like, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. But this one, I'm feeling like this end, I might lose it. And may just have to start over from this new stuff. Um, the other one is this one, which other than whatever's going on on it, 
Um, it seems to be okay. It's holding on a lot better. The roots, I mean the, you know, core of it feels strong and it's pretty consistent. So those are my two struggle babies. Um, I think every, all the other ones are okay. Like this one is pretty good, healthy. So those are the only two. So out of 309, I'll take two struggles, okay? What else can I tell you? I used, I washed my hair last week and waited a few days before I did the retwist. Maybe because I just didn't feel like it, but also I was feeling like, let me just give my scalp a little bit so it is not tender. And I'm glad I did because since I am using the interlocking method, it can, it's easy to go too far with the lock and have it super tight on your scalp. I do have a couple of areas that are a little tender and I think it's because I probably went one rotation too much, but that's okay, I'm learning, I'm learning that. For most of them, I did four rotations. So right to left and top to bottom, I did two of those each. A couple of them I felt like had a little bit more growth, so I went a little further. Initially, I wasn't gonna use any products to do this, but my hair, I love my hair, but she gets dry, okay? She gets dry and strawy. And I don't want my lock, I want my locks to be luxurious. You know, I want them to be moisturized and strong. And I put water on them every day, but I'm learning that I think I have low density hair. Cause when I put water on my hair, it just swallows it. It's like, oh, that's cute. That's the appetizer. So I know I need something a little bit more, not every day, but at least once every month or two. So I did use BRB. I'm gonna show you, voila. All right, so this is what I use. It's from The Do. It's their cream, Twist and Girl cream. And when I say I only use a little bit per lock, I'm talking about, that's probably even too much. It was more like, can you see that? Like just barely. You see one swipe and it's gone. Just enough to add a little bit of something. And I, I focused on the new girl, you know? Kind of put it there and then just retwisted the rest of it just with my hand. Kind of like a, Ham roll equivalent, but just basically like this. That's all I did, y'all. That's all I did. And then the ends, like I said, I recurve those. And that's it. And this is what I got. And I love it. I am very happy. I go out of town in a week. So that's exciting because I ain't got to worry about how I'm getting my hair for my vacation because it's already done. Huh? This, I mean, <laughs> People been holding out on the benefits. I, I'ma tell you, wake up and go. Like literally shake and go. So yeah, this is your girl. Rough eyebrows and all. <laughs> That's okay. I'm so all right, take me as I am, okay? I accept y'all as y'all are, so equal opportunity here. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'll definitely get back with you and yeah. Six, six, seven weeks, and your girl is doing all right. You're doing all right. All right, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned. We rocking this journey together. I'm excited, I have no regrets, zero. And I hope if you're considering it, this made you consider it a little bit more. I'll holla at you later. Nothing new, you know